Now we're going to go on to the next layer in this process. And the next one is here. We're going to highlight that and see what we got here. We got ourselves a little bar that goes from green to yellow. So now we're going to show you how to create that green to yellow bar. Go ahead and highlight that layer. And then what I'm going to do is click a new layer. Now, we're going to use this as a reference. We're going to create that bar. How to create that bar, you go over to the marquee tool. This is your marquee tool. As you can see, once you click and hold the marquee tool, you'll have four different selections. Marquee rectangle, elliptical, single row, or single column marquee tool. What we want is the rectangular marquee tool. Go ahead and let that go. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to try to create a bar about the same size of that. So we come to the top, click and hold, drag to the right, and down, straight down. We want to try to make that around the same size of that bar that we have here. Now, to see if that's around the same size, I can move this. I'm still holding my mouse. And I can move that marquee tool to the left or the right by pressing the space bar. If I press the space bar, I can move the marquee tool wherever I want it. So let's move it over the top of that to see if I can get it about the same size of that one. It's about right there. About right there. Let the space bar go. Now I'm able to maneuver it some more to make it about the same size. And I like that. So that's about the size of it. Let the space bar go and let your mouse go. So now you have yourself an empty space. Now we're going to fill that space the same way we pretty much did with the last layer below it by making a gradient. So we're going to go back over to the gradient tool, click it, come up to the gradient picker, double click that. And since this mark, since this is already here, we're going to kind of go off of this this time. So we have about three different colors in here that we're going to use. The first stop, we're going to double click it. And we're going to select with the color picker the green. And all I basically did was went over the top of the green and then selected the color that was shown there. Go ahead and press OK. We're going to add a stop because we're going to get this lime yellow slash green in here. I'm going to add a stop about in the middle by just clicking somewhere in the middle then double clicking it to open it up and then we're going to get this color right about here and click that OK and then we're going to get the yellow so we're going to double click that stop, the last stop and click the yellow so now we have three stops and you can space them out however you want one thing I didn't go over is these little, I don't know, uh, diamond shaped points here. You can slide those back and forth, and that'll give you like an in between in between both of them. You can go there, somewhere like that. You click this one here, you'll see another one to show up right there. And that just basically slides it in between the stops that are from here to here. Go ahead and press OK. Now, same thing we did with the last one, we're going to go to the top click and hold, press shift, and drag straight down and let go. Boom! And now we have something similar to the uh, other bar that we have on the left. Now you see the marching ants is still around the bar here. We want that to go away so what you're going to do is press control D and that will deactivate the marching ants. Now we're going to delete the layer below it, or actually disable the layer below it and come back up to the original layer that we were just using come over here to the move tool click on the move tool and drag it over to about the same area where that layer was let's see if we can get it about the same spot yeah there you go so now we don't need this one anymore we are creating our own so we're going to take that like I said before we're going to take it and drag it to the garbage can Now, on to the next layer.